Hey friends, it's Gabby back here in front of you and today I will be doing my December favorites. I want to show you guys my favorites last month in December. I really wanted to like mention and give a special shout out to those items that I recently purchased and appreciated. So yeah, I don't have a lot of favorites, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with my makeup favorites, and the first one is this e.l.f. eyelash curler that I have right here. Um, I bought it for like two bucks at CVS, and yeah, it worked really well. I had to change my old eyelash curler because that one was like a few years old, and it was already dirty and already moldy, so I really didn't want to use it anymore. I might get an eye infection or something like that, so... Yeah, I wanted to buy a new one and I got this and it works really well and it curls my eyelashes perfectly. My next beauty favorite is this Sephora cream lip stain. This smells really good. It has like um, a chocolatey scent to me. Like for some reason it feels like it smells soft and I really love the color payoff of this because it's a perfect nudish pink color to me and I was really looking into buying a fall to winter kind of lipstick at the time so I really really like this and I think this was like 14 bucks and I would definitely buy another one of these. Now we move on to my fashion favorites so the first one is this red beanie. This is from Uniqlo. This was originally like this much of fabric but I double folded so that I could get this like smaller beanie kind of thing. These days I've been really loving this beanie especially because it's getting colder here. Temperatures are dropping to like 20s. I really really like this to keep my head warm. It really suits me a lot. I look like a skater person and I really like that aesthetic for some reason. I think it was like 15 bucks but right now it's on a sale for like $9.90 which is basically like $10. So yeah, definitely grab one. My next fashion favorite is this white turtleneck that I have right here. This is from Walmart. I think it's like $5 or seven, I don't really remember. But I bought it because I've been really wanting a white turtleneck for so long. This looks really chic. Once you style it, I love wearing it. It's like the perfect size and also I can wear it underneath my black shirts. So I really really like this. My last fashion favorite are these sneakers that I have right here. These are the Puma RSOs and they're really good and pretty. They are very chunky. Heel is like this one so it gives you a lot of height. It's really pretty. I got this on a sale online for like 60 bucks. This is originally $100. I really really like this. I saw that BTS was the one who modeled them so that's why I wanted them for a bit and also because they kind of remind me of the trendy looking Balenciaga shoes. This is so comfy. I got in the size 8. Moving on to my random favorites. This pen really rocked my world. This is the Muji .25 pen and it's the thinnest one that they have. I don't know if you can see that. They are really nice and pretty. I love the quality of this and how my handwriting looks. It's so much better than the .38 one. And you will definitely see a difference. It is so beautiful. And I love my handwriting on this. I think this was like 4 bucks though. It was kind of expensive for a pen. It's a splurge, but it's worth it. Yeah, definitely recommend this if you're a pen savvy person. Also, I wish that Muji would like sell refilled inks instead of you having to buy the entire like case plus the ink again because I feel like it's such a waste. Muji, if you're watching this, please do. Moving on to my favorite YouTubers, I only have two this month and the first one is Ashley aka Best Dress and her videos are really entertaining and really aesthetically pleasing. They're fashion related videos. I just love her personality. It's very chill and very laid back. She seems very genuine about her content. She is one of like the people that I see on YouTube that are very into what they're doing. So definitely recommend her content and channel. So I'll link it down below. Moving on to my next favorite YouTuber, it is Nuria Ma. She's a Chinese Spanish girl who basically does fashion and beauty content. I love her 
um, makeup tutorials especially and also her vlogs are very cute. Her personality is also really interesting and bubbly so I really really like her content and yeah I think everybody knows her channel very well so if you haven't seen her yet definitely go check her out. Now we move on to my favorite movies and shows. I watched one K-drama, one anime, and a movie. So the first one I want to talk about is Bird Box. It's this movie on Netflix. The story revolves around this character named Mallory who has two kids, one boy and a girl. There's this creature that once you look at it, you would want to kill yourself. So it's a very interesting story, so I really really liked it. Based on what I've read, what I've, I've observed from the storyline and also from ending explained videos on YouTube, it talked about mainly about mental health and also how mental illnesses such as depression and anxiety take over a person and cause people to do those things and how people couldn't understand it in a way like it's definitely an important topic to go through and also discuss to people that made me really happy that this movie is that kind of movie and i just really loved the idea of it it was a beautiful movie overall my score to the movie is about a solid 9 out of 10 and because i feel like i wanted more background to mallory in the story like that's just my curiosity nonetheless it was a really good movie so i definitely recommend it to all of you if you haven't watched it yet definitely watch it now moving on to my favorite anime of the month. I haven't watched anime in a long time. It's called Kimi no Todoke. It revolves around this girl. I think her name's Sawako and she's really shy. And basically a lot of people in school just like don't talk to her because her name sounds like the the girl named Sadako which is basically like it was like a horror movie. Yeah and then this guy started talking to him and then he was really nice. And then they just started to like each other. It was really genuine and cute. It was just basically full of fluff and I really really like it. If you're looking into watching a nice cute anime, definitely recommend this. My last show favorite is a K-drama and it's called What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. It's really really funny and cute. Um, basically it revolves around this secretary and also this vice chairman. Basically this girl wanted to resign from her job and like she wanted to find herself and find her love and find this person that she was looking for in, in her childhood and the boss just didn't want her to leave for some reason and so he tried persuading her by like asking her out on a date and stuff and the show's really funny and entertaining so if you're looking into something funny like that definitely recommend that one the storyline was great just that the ending was kind of like it felt kind of rushed and i kind of wanted more definitely recommend it to you guys if you are into k-dramas and if you want like a comedy um, genre so definitely <laughs> recommend it moving on to the last section of this video my music favorites this month i just really listened to a lot of the same music but the new ones that I've started to listen to is Rex Orange County and also RM's Mono. So I'm going to talk about Rex Orange County first. I started listening to Rex Orange County because it was like recommended after playing one of my playlists and I really liked the song Best Friend. It's a bop and you should go give it a listen. My last music favorite is Mono by RM, it's Namjoon's mixtape from BTS, and it's so good. I love the vibe of it and also the messages of the song. It's very inspiring and very motivating and whenever I hear it, I just feel a lot better. A wonderful masterpiece once again by the legend, the king. I definitely recommend it if you are into messages about loving yourself and growing. It's a wonderful playlist, so I really recommend it if you are into that. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. The sun is like setting as I'm like recording right now. So I apologize. But I hope you guys liked it anyway. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I hope you all keep growing. Bye.